Okay, David. So um, joining up with you after the first home preseason game, and just just sort of to get your thoughts on the first three away games to start off with. Um, I thought overall we were we were okay in those games. I thought there were some passages of play where I thought we were good. Um, I thought Clee thought we were good for probably two thirds of the pitch, but not 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 good enough in the final third. I thought we wasted. I thought we turned possession over too easily. I thought our possession we worked hard and it was probably a couple of worldies in the first half that separated us. The second half was much more even. I thought the, the two games early and Glossop, I thought we were by and large in control of those games. Um, I don't remember being uh, opened up too many times in either, uh, which is which is testament to the shape. We talked about being harder to beat this year, we talked about a target of a few, no more than 38 goals conceded in the league and that's something we, we're looking at. What we've got to do is balance that and make sure we're still creating chances as well. And um, we scored a reasonable number of goals already, so I think we're we starting to see the system uh, gel a little bit. I thought a gloss up was much, much better in terms of in possession than Clee thought. I thought the movement was better, I thought the passing was better, I thought we created better chances. So, overall, pleased we've integrated probably six, seven new players into the squad and, and looked at probably another six, seven trialists. So, it's been a, a productive couple of weeks. You said about um, creating chances, you must be relatively pleased in terms of where we are in pre-season we, we seem to have created a lot of chances over the, the four games so far like I said maybe just a bit more being yeah, clinical I thought Clee thought we didn't in the first half I thought the second half we did I thought actually Danny Miranda caused a lot of problems that day with his pace when he came on and a slight change in shape um, if you look at what we've done I think we've got Keaton on two Eden on two Umar on two Bailey on two um, after four games so that's that's encouraging um, and, and none of the opposition we've played against the Mugs, they're all good size, they've all, worked, they've all worked hard, they've all asked questions of us and, and defended well. So I think we've, we've had to work hard for our goals, and it's pleasing to see that a lot of our forwards have, have chipped in already. So that bodes well. We, we may not have a um, one player who goes off and scores 20 goals like last season, but hopefully we, we end up with uh, you know, four or five who are, who are in the teens, and, and, and that, that could be a big difference maker for us. Um, first home pre home preseason game uh, today against Stockport George, it's a bit of a Roulette with their opposition at one point, but we got there in the end. But good result, good performance. Yeah, and, and a huge thank you to Stockport George. And so um, we we were we had a couple of teams for various reasons who, who couldn't come where we got something penciled in with them. Um, and Stockport George and spoke to me on Thursday uh, when when the last team had, had been able to fulfil the fixture and brought a good competitive side down, played played it in the right spirit. It was. Um, you know, I don't think they asked many questions of us. Oh, oh, I think they asked questions of us. I think we dealt with it very well defensively. So, so Finn didn't really have a, a save to make. Um, I thought we we largely controlled the game. We had a 10 minute spell where I thought we took too many chances, which was, was frustrating. We've talked about that. There's a real focus on building good habits. Uh, and, and I thought we, we had a lot of good habits today. I thought in the, some of the midfield rotation, some of the passing, some of the, some of the play, particularly second half down the right hand side, I thought we caused lots of problems. And, but Banny's movement caused a lot of problems, so it was it was a pleasing run out. Um, it was a decent crowd as well for a pre-season friendly, so there was a nice atmosphere around it, and it was a, a good chance to give a couple of lads who've been training with us some minutes today um, before we get into the last sort of three games when we start to funnel in a little bit and really start to focus on what, what we think our eleven will be come come the twelfth. Uh, and looking at them three games, like you said, um, you're looking to funnel in, but those three games represent sort of the. The biggest test for you in terms of how far you've come in pre-season? Deliberately so. Uh, so, so I've always been a, um, a big advocate of playing teams that are going to be around your level, that competitive. So, so we generally try and look at, at counties, counties prem, counties one teams. We, we try and avoid um, dropping into, um, you know, kind of dropping into the county leagues. Not, not for any reason other than I want every game to be a test. There's no point. You can get a false positive if you can look at a player playing a game against a side from. From step seven and look at a million dollars, but the, it doesn't tell you anything about when you put up against MPL players with experience. So we've we've kind of had what two count two counties prem counties counties one and a um, not non Premier League uh, East team so far, which I think give us a good test. And then we've got you know similar sort of well, slightly stronger mix now as we're coming up. Uh, Southport will probably a week ahead of us in terms of their training. We know that they'll play different type of football and ask different questions. Um, probably similar to a couple of teams in our leagues, so that will be a, a really good test and to look at look at look how the players react to to, to those different questions being asked. Um, Coza I don't know that much about, but will be a good side. You know the, the same standards, and then Hyde probably unlucky to miss out on the playoffs last year and, and the strength. And so that will be a real a real good barometer of, of where we're at. And and it's you know it'd be good to, it's good to build a, a winning habit, but I'm not really fussed about the results. 
you don't win or lose anything in, in July, but you lay the foundations, and, and it's really can we across these next three games show defensive solidity, so show some creativity, um, and, and start to, to really gel as a as a team. And the fixtures have come out, and the the cup draws have come out as well now. So, uh, any initial thoughts on them? It's good to be at home. Um, it's no easy game. Uh, teams will come here, and, and everybody wants to have a cup run. So, so they're going to um, put us under pressure, and there'll be difficult games. But you know, if you, if you, there were certainly worse draws you could have. I think last year we had really difficult cup yeah. draws. I think this year they've been a bit more favourable. The home draws certainly help. So. Um, the ambition this year is, is to get to the playoffs uh, and, and to have a good cup run. Um, I, I'm not hidden that. We, we were pushing for that last season. I was disappointed we fell short. I think we've, um, despite the, you know, we've, we've probably lost four players that we would have liked to have kept, but we've brought in brought in six players who I think, then when you look at the balance of the squad as a whole, I think we're probably slightly stronger than last year. So I feel I feel we're in a pretty good place. We just need to to really fine tune what we're doing now and. I think we can you know, get good results out of those cup games. I think we can kick the league campaign off with a, um, you know, hopefully in a similar way we did to last year. Tough, tough fixtures: Prescott and Whitson for the first two, but last year was Workington and Linnet. So, you know, we we we've got to hit the ground running, but we're certainly capable of doing that. And in terms of the squad, um, we've got a couple more announcements to make on players players signing. But you, are you near near enough there? A couple more. To yeah, probably one or two short still. Um, a couple of lads who featured today uh, potentially will sign, um, and then we maybe maybe one one maybe two more. Um, but you never say never. There'll be players released from from higher up, players like Captain higher up who want to move, and you, you've got to be aware of that. And it, it's there's a real balance to strike. I like the togetherness of, of players. I like I like having a squad that's that's settled. Um, but you could be naive and a bit sentimental if, if a player comes up who improves you. Then I think you've got to. You know, if you can make that work within the within the budgetary constraints and, and everything else, I think you've got to move for that. And so we, we might see you know we might see a couple of a couple of that forward to that camp. So never say never, but kind of where I am at the moment, I'm pretty happy. Probably you know probably one one or two maybe more squad players. Um, not not really hidden the fact that I'm looking for a bit of a bit of pace. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. But pretty happy with what I've got. I think we've seen we've seen players gel with the atmosphere around the around the club's good. The atmosphere in the dressing room's good. The characters we brought in really fit the uh, fit the culture and the ethos that we've developed over the last three years, and that that was important to me. We, we can't lose that despite a turnover of players. So I'm I'm overall pretty pleased with where we're at. We spoke about squad depth a lot towards the back end of last season, and just on, on touching on that last point really was you you got a few squad players coming in, and you you talked about loaning a few out and Jill Reg and a few out. Is that that part of a bigger plan for the season? It is. Keep them so, so I've spoken to we've got one player who's, who's signed for us who's, who we've already Jill Reg to somebody in the counties. Um, we've got two other players today. I think we'll do something similar with and, and perhaps one or two of the trialists who are involved today. Um, we can probably keep 15, 16, 17 players happy maybe with, with injury suspensions. You can probably achieve that. You're not going to keep 22 players happy at our level when you haven't got 30. Players want to play and, and players need to play. The top players we're talking about are young players who need to play competitive football to develop. Um, we just we can't offer that if, if they're not in our side. So we need to think carefully about how we use your registrations. And I think we'll see maybe five or six players who I, I would be very comfortable with putting into an MPL side who I think would uh, more than do a job. You know, it's not a case of just filling a shirt, filling a hole. I think these are players who can come in and, and be good. Um, and, and, and really add, kind of add to what we're doing and, and kind of maintain the maintain what we're trying to achieve. Um, who just needs to be out there playing football regularly to develop. And you know, hopefully if that works properly, then we see well, next summer we see um, hopefully two or three lads step up again and move into move into the Conference North, which is you know, part of our stated aims is to move players, young players into the Conference North. We've got two or three ready who've been in, the, in and around it for a year who are ready to step up and, and you know fill those fill those slots and, and stake claim for regular shirt. Well, thanks, David. Cheers, Nathan.